Hey, how's it going? And uh, in this video, I want to explain to you when you should be using uh, CBO versus ABO in uh, your advertising, in Facebook advertising. Okay, when you're running your ads, uh, CBO is campaign budget optimization, ad set budget optimization is ABO. Okay, so CBO is when on the campaign level, you are distrib distributing the budget on the top of the campaign and it will flow all the way to the ad set level. Okay, so Facebook will automatically optimize uh, your budget based on the campaign level and see which ad sets are performing well and uh, they'll just let it spread the budget from there. Okay, ad set budget optimization or ABO is when you have multiple different ad sets and on the ad set level, you're putting your budget. Okay, so on the ad level, the budget is being distributed and determined by Facebook. Okay, so um, it's different and these are the, the, the two different ways that you can use it. Okay, so this is personally for me. Okay, so you do have to follow this if you don't want. On the ABO is when you are on the testing phase. So when you don't understand what is happening in the, uh, in the account and the campaigns and you're trying out different messaging, uh, different copy, different video ads, uh, different photo ads, okay? All you're trying to do is, is to isolate which creative works the best and that's when you use ABO. So for example, um, right here, right? For example, uh, $25 per ad set and you have $25 times 10, times 10 ad sets, okay? Then you are seeing among the 10 ad sets, which of those ad sets are performing well. Okay, and that's uh, very important because uh, you know consistently across the board because the budgets are all the same. You can see which one the cost per purchase or the cost per lead is the lowest. Okay, and so that's kind of, kind of uh, why you use ABO. And so once you find something that's working on the ABO level, you isolate that creative, uh, that copy or, or that video ad, right? And then you bring it into a CBO. Okay, so you take that winning creative uh, into a CBO, you duplicate that and you put a high budget on that. And then you try to run uh, a horizontal scale at, at, that, at that point. Okay, so generally for me, um, every time I go like $250 and above is when I go CBO. So I feel that because CBO, um, Facebook distributes it themselves, right? And they take quite a while to actually um, like optimize the campaign and stuff because it's, it's a big campaign, right? So um, you want to put a, a high budget towards it when you're using CBO. So generally anything above $250 per day, by the way, per day, uh, you want to use CBO. Okay, other than that, I, I don't even try. I just use ASAP budget optimization. I guess um, this has worked for me. Uh, so um, it may work differently from you, uh, but this is just how I do it. Okay, so if, if you have any questions uh, about this method, uh, don't worry too much about it because more importantly, go and get and uh, create good creatives. Okay, at to a certain point, right? Media buying and like um, setting up your ads is not very, very important. Okay, I'm in, a, in the media buying business and like even I, I say it's like even your, your creative and your offer is more important than the media buying itself. Okay, so um, it's great to understand the differences be between these things, but ultimately uh, understand uh, the customer, the customer, what they want, uh, handle the objections, the, the all the general marketing stuff. Okay, hopefully this helps and answers your question. And um, if you have anything else, just put it in the comment section below and I'll just uh, answer it as well. Okay, thanks for watching the video.